Tunisia is a, an extremely isolated country. Isolated because nobody's interested in Tunisia till the revolution. Uh, we grew up in a country where very few people would write about you and interested in you. We're an extremely homogeneous group of people uh, that is basically living on its own, uh, watching TV uh, and and the most powerful TVs are able to influence this country in a large extent. Um, we've seen uh, the power of Al Jazeera, uh, who managed to gain most of the uh, viewers in Tunisia. So when I came back to Tunisia, the, this issue of isolation, not only physical isolation, but uh, civilizational isolations, People believe in TV the way they see it, and they're starting only now creating some sort of self-criticism uh, and awareness of how things should happen. And, and, and they realize that their media has been a propaganda media for like uh, 50 years, and now they have to build something different and new. Realizing all these challenges and really wanting to influence the future of Tunisia. So with a couple of friends, we created uh, the first Tunisian news website in English. And we hope that uh, this news website uh, will contribute first in training uh, Tunisians to communicate with the world, training Tunisian journalists to communicate with the world and to learn the skills they need to learn in order to have an independent media. Uh, this website will also allow people overseas to read Tunisian news and know more about our stories, you know. Uh, Bouazizi, the fruit vendor, uh, set himself on fire and sparked this revolution. Um, that's a local story in Tunisia, who became global. We believe that there are many other local stories uh, that could become global and that might interest the world and everyone who's allowed, uh, who wants to know more about Tunisia is, uh, will have the possibility to read and learn more about us through this website. So it's a, it's a platform that uh, shows um, Tunisian news in terms of articles, but also we put videos there and podcasts. And, and, and that's something that uh, it's groundbreaking here in Tunisia, and we're happy to be the ones doing it right now. Um, a lot of the international networks came to us and asked for help. So now we became also a platform that helped the news production of uh, the big networks in Tunisia. Living in the United States, we saw how the web uh, played a big role in the campaign. In Tunisia, the web is still not thinking about politics, I would say. So uh, with TunisiaLife.net, we, we thought that we could do something uh, similar to what happens in the US. So we contacted uh, Google uh, and built a partnership with them. So now we have a partnership with the Google Corporation uh, to have a special YouTube channel uh, for the elections. And we basically invited Tunisians to ask their questions online on YouTube and vote for the most popular questions. Uh, and the questions were definitely about uh, economical opportunities, about unemployment, about religion and identity. And, and we invited the representative of the most famous parties in Tunisia and, and asked them to respond to this question in our little homemade studio. Uh, we, uh, we built a studio out of nothing and we managed to have our videos viewed by more than 50,000 people. Uh, and, and, and that's a great contribution for us, uh, doing that without any single uh, funding or grant or our support from anybody else and not having even ads on it, uh, to be able to influence the choice of 50,000 people in this, politi in this campaign was, a, was something that we were really proud of.